One thing I think we've all done a lot of over the past few years has been rolling our eyes because, of course, Donald Trump has done so many stupid, unbelievable, crazy things that sometimes all you can do is roll your eyes. Even his wife, Melania, we saw at that baseball game, pretended to have fun with Donald, but when he looked away, she had one of the biggest eye rolls I've seen in human history. And it's not just limited to us or his family because there's this new report out about how his wife... White House staff, his top closest aides, would frequently roll their eyes in frustration and disbelief at the stupidity of Donald Trump. And it has everything to do with just how reliant he was on Fox News. Trump didn't just watch Fox. He would watch Fox and then actually bring up Fox News opinion in his policy meetings. In the most important room in the world, the Oval Office, Trump would be bringing up White House his main policy points regurgitated from Fox News and sometimes directly include Fox News voices in those meetings. It's bonkers. It says here, with the White House Select Committee investigating the J6 Capitol riot, revealing that Fox News host Sean Hannity was attempting to sway the president, which has led to Hannity being asked to testify, the Post is reporting that Trump was making decisions based on the advice of Hannity as well as host Janine Pirro, among others. As former White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham revealed, there were times the president would come down the next morning and say, well, Sean thinks we should do this, or Judge Janine thinks we should do this. Grisham also noted that the West Wing staffers would simply roll their eyes in frustration as they scrambled to respond to the influence of the network's hosts, who weighed in on everything from personnel to messaging strategy. According to the report, the former president also allowed Fox hosts to participate in policy discussions with his staff, which Doss Dossie and Ashley Parker writing, a former administration official who spoke on the condition of anonymity to share candid details of private discussions, said Trump would sometimes dial Hannity and Lou Dobbs into Oval Office staff meetings. This is crazy, and no wonder his staff were rolling their eyes, had no respect for him, and no belief in his abilities. Because what kind of president is so reliant on the media opinion of one of the craziest networks in the United States? States. You're the president. You are the gosh darn president. You don't follow the news. You make the news. You drive opinion, at least most of the time. Yeah, you're not some kind of god, but you are the most powerful person in the country, likely in the world. You don't watch Fox News and then the next morning go to your people and say, we need to do what Tucker or Sean or Laura or whoever tells me to do. That's ridiculous. That shows that not only are you stupid, not only are you weak, but Donald Trump likes to paint himself as this great leader, this great visionary, when that's not true. He's simply just a follower of whatever flashed before his eyeballs on Fox News and probably even OAN and Newsmax, which is even more insane saying this really shows a man that didn't know what he was doing like that's what it fundamentally showed right like this is a a man that really relied on the opinions of others because he didn't have an original thought in his head and whereas he could have gone to his regular advisors people hired for the job sometimes with decades of experience because he didn't understand that policy is complicated and nuanced and all of those sorts of things he just went to people whose job it is to lie to Americans for millions of dollars and one unintended intended consequence of this reporting is it could hurt both Trump and many of these Fox hosts. Because as we've seen, Hannity and maybe other Fox people will be asked to testify at the J6 committee. And one of their arguments is going to be, we are journalists. And so the First Amendment gives us special protection. But keep this in mind, Hannity and all these others, they weren't always journalists. Sometimes they were advisors to Trump and they shouldn't be protected. This news could bust them all down.